they, you know, they sort of at halftime they said this is got like it's nothing, nothing. In reality, they scored seven, and a and scored seven this half. Look at her trying to win the game with all the time. from Rockford Fulton, who was born in Arkansas, but uh, whose mom and dad came to the United States while he was I think we've seen it all. Station, if I can put it any uh, better. Educated guy, he leads the uh, wrecking crew and tackles. Here he just makes a head up, heads up play, catches the ball, and there he goes. He just lets his athletic ability take over from there. Make the kicker miss, and he walks in. The kickers don't make too many tackles. No, they don't. They don't, work on that don't. they don't normally work on that in practice. You know, here's a guy, interesting story about Dot. Not only the... Franklin booms this 64-yard field goal. Longest in NCAA history. In the third period, Franklin kicks this 65-yard field goal breaking the NCAA record he set in the second quarter. They've missed one tonight. Couldn't handle the snap. Snap, it's down, it's up. It's, and it's been blocked! It's been blocked! Oh man, he blocked it! Aggies win! The Aggies win on a blocked extra point. They win it 34-33. We're gonna have to see who blocked this thing. They're going to oh end up my. missing two extra points tonight. Blocked it. 34-33, the final in overtime. Snap back, ball down. Line drive kick is blocked. It's blocked, and AM wins. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Texas AM 34, Oklahoma State 33. the same or force an errant kick or AM is going to pull the upset at home. Seth Small, 10 of 11 on the year from 28 yards away for an Aggie upset win and it's good. He got it.
The second largest crowd in the history of this stadium has seen the upset of the number one team in the country. And Seth Small comes up big. I thought it was going to go left, but it knuckled back in. What a game. What a finish. And what a happy group of Aggies, including their head coach. Them not only trade 44 yard touchdowns on their last two possessions, but trade the lead for the fourth time in the second half. Can AM now answer? From the goal line, it's Christian Kirk. Danger. Look out. Down the sideline. He might go. Wow. Touchdown. As that kickoff was in the air, I said, can AM answer? I guess the question answered quickly by and Kristen I, Kirk. And I said danger because when you have green grass versus that dude, you're in trouble. Five punt return touchdowns in his career. He's going to do that in the end. Shiretti. Shiretti should have forced him back inside to try to get some help, but was not able to do it. 41-yard field goal attempt coming from Daniel Carlson. What? Scooped up by the Aggies. Texas A&M to Shazer. Everett will take it back. Touchdown, Texas A&M. A blocked field goal results in a 65-yard return from Everett. And what a... This team, starting a year ago against Texas A&M, felt lucky. And once again, who is it? It's Sean Miles Moore. Garrett, the true Texas freshman, coming That's up, making corner. another huge play for the Aggies. Three people were head coaches at both Alabama and Texas A&M. Rikers kick. Goes down to the three-yard line to A-Chain. And A-Chain's got an opening. He's got world-class speed. He's gone. A-Chain takes it coast to coast. Touchdown, Aggies. Six yards for the touchdown. Man, as you said, once he broke free, no one was going to come close. There might not be anybody else in college football that could have caught him. No, even if they were even with him, he was going to pull away. Well, if he was even, he was leaving. Yep. Goal attempt. 
by Ward. And between the 20 and 29 yard distance, he is perfect, two for two. And this will be 27 yards. And directly in front of the goal. Post. And it's blocked, and, and, and there it goes. No, that's Pope being chased down. Pope inside the 20, running out of steam, and down <laughs> it goes at the six. First and goal to go. The Longhorns had a first down at the 11. They come away with nothing, but the Aggies have a first down at the six of Texas. Borchell's the man that ran him down, but the, the ball was blocked right into Pope's hands. Took too long to get it off, and it's going to come from the left of your screen. The top of your screen is Pope. He's just coming out. He's not even going in. And that's number five, Lance Jackson. The man that broke up the play. Is that who it is? That's it looks like it. No, that's Bryant. The big one, Bryant six. six. Okay, Pope and Morshale. Morshale is the man that catches it. Here's where you start struggling. When your head starts to go back, you're getting a little tired. <laughs> and then Morshale, diving tackle at the big ball just inside.